1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit that is from God, so that we may understand the gifts bestowed on us by God. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's word, the word of God very clearly speaks about the spirit that we have received that is from God. Hallelujah. What we have is not from the world. So we are of not of this world. It is only the Lord who by his spirit can speak to us, can reveal to us. It is only God by his spirit can, you know, speak to us and make us understand of what we carry and what the Lord has kept for us. So let us meditate on this word which says we have not received the spirit of this world but the spirit that is from God. So what we carry inside of us is from God. What we carry inside our spirit is the spirit of God. And if we carry the spirit of God, everything that is chaotic, everything that is uh, messed up, everything that is lost, everything that is broken, everything that is shapeless and uh, null and voidless, whatever be the state it all reforms it it all refreshes it all comes to life it recreates it restores the holy spirit of god who is in us working inside of us he works in us the word of god says the spirit searches everything the spirit searches everything as we are in the presence of god this morning let us pray that the spirit of God will search everything within us. Convicting us, correcting us, revealing to us who we are in Christ. Revealing to us every gift that the Lord has kept for us. Revealing to us all that we hold as the new covenant people. Whatever be the gifts, the blessings things that the Lord has bestowed upon our lives. The Holy Spirit of God who is in us will make us understand, says the word of God. O Rabatiarabala, the Holy Spirit of God who proceeds from the Father and the Son is the gift that we all have. It is through him we understand. It is through him we know Christ. It is through him we walk in freedom. It is through him we walk in purity. It is through him we walk in holiness. It is through him we live and walk a victorious life. It is he who reveals to us the package that we have in the salvation of God. You are a new creation in Christ. Everything that is old has passed away and everything has become new. You are a new creation in Christ. Everything that is old has passed away and everything has become new. Everything that is old has passed away and everything has become new. You are the new creation in Christ. Your mind is new. Your heart is new. Everything about you is new. Everything that is of old has passed away and everything has become new. Everything that is old has passed away and everything has become new. Dear brothers and sisters, believe in this word. Believe in this world. Everything that is of old. Your old attitude, your old character, your old sin, your old uh, bondage, your old lifestyle, everything, your sinful uh, life, your sinfulness, whatever, everything that is of old has passed away and everything has become new. When the Spirit of God moves into your life, when the Spirit of God works in your life, everything that is of old passes away and everything 
something becomes new because the Holy Spirit of God who hovers around you, who hovers inside of you, moves and touches every areas of your life, making you new, making your mind new, making your emotions new, making your feelings new, Tori Sato Prasitaraba, making you new, Roto Pratika Brasiandara, because you have the Holy Spirit of God, because you believe in Jesus Christ and you have the Holy Spirit of God, I want to tell you, La Rasianta, nothing stays the same. Everything becomes new. Nothing, nothing stays the same. To Rabasion Tarabeli, Bratus Cabrasiantere. Wherever the Spirit of God moved, there was a change. Something happened. Something was created. Something was made fine. O Krodavasian Taraba. The Spirit of God is inside of you. He is moving in you. So you cannot remain the same. You are changing to be more like Jesus, to walk more like Jesus. E Kortobasia Taraba. So don't believe in the lies of the enemy. The enemy might show you as a sinner. The enemy might show or he might highlight only the old self. He might highlight your old self and show. But you have to know according to today's word, the spirit that you have, it is from God. And the spirit that you have, if it is from God, he, you know, works. He doesn't keep quiet. He doesn't keep quiet. He works. He builds you. He renews you. He, re he, he restores you. He he makes all things new in your life. Udaramati Krobas Yatarabala. Thank you, Jesus Rotum Brasita. E Pradibasyoto. Holy Spirit of God, move freely upon every areas of my life. Move freely. Dura Kuzbe, Kroda Basyanta, let every areas of my life walk in freedom. Roda Basyantaraba, for where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Imbardigo Syataraba, every bondage be broken, every ties of the enemy be broken, every knots of the enemy be broken, every soul ties be broken, every connections with the powers of darkness be broken, every spiritual links and chains be broken, every entry points for the powers of darkness be sealed by the fire of God, by the blood of Jesus. I have received the spirit who is from God. The spirit that we have received is from God. And if he is from God, he knows everything about God. And if he knows everything about God, he reveals to us, the spirit that I have received is from God. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. Taramokranda, the spirit that I have received is not the spirit of the world, but the spirit that is from God. The spirit that I have received is from God. By the Spirit of God who dwells in me, I understand. I walk in newness. I walk in freedom. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. By the Spirit of God who dwells in me, I walk in freedom. I walk in understanding. I walk in wisdom. I walk in the knowledge of God. The Spirit of God God dwells in me. I declare it in Jesus' name. The Spirit of God dwells within me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare. The Spirit of God dwells within me. The Spirit of God. The Spirit of God dwells in me. My Spirit is united, is made one with the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God dwells in me. The Spirit of God dwells in me. My Spirit is united with the Spirit of God. I am made one with the Spirit of God. Therefore I declare everything old has passed away and everything has become new. I walk in the newness of life. I walk with a new mind and heart. I walk with a new motive and intentions. I walk with newness in the name of Jesus Christ. The 
the spirit of God that dwells in me is from God. Therefore, by the spirit of God who dwells in me, I overcome the world. I overcome sin. I overcome impurity. I overcome demons. I overcome every demonic forces. I subdue them by the spirit of God who is alive in me, by the spirit of God who is active in me, by the spirit of God who dwells in me. I do not operate by the spirit of the world. I do not operate by the spirit of the world. My feelings, my emotions, my character, my understanding, everything that I am is influenced by the spirit of God. I declare it in Jesus name. Everything I, that I am, my desires, everything that I am, my mind, my heart, everything that I am is influenced by the spirit of God who dwells in me. Everything I am is influenced by the spirit of God, by the spirit of God, by the spirit of God who dwells in me. I declare it in Jesus name. I do not operate by the spirit of the world. I do not operate by the spirit of the world. I operate by the spirit that is from God who dwells in me. I operate by the spirit that is from God who dwells in me. All the works of the enemy be destroyed. All the influences of the enemy, influences of the spirit of this world whatever that is seen in me be broken down be broken down be broken down every influence of the enemy be broken down be broken down in jesus name be broken down in jesus name that spirit that dwells in me is from god i declare it in jesus mighty name all the lies of the enemy i nullify it in jesus name all the lies of the enemy all the influence of the enemy i nullify it I nullify it in the name of Jesus Christ. I understand the gifts bestowed to me by God. The gift of salvation, the gift of faith, the gift of being the child of God. I understand the gifts bestowed on me by God. By the spirit of God who dwells in me, I understand the works of God. By the spirit of God who dwells in me, I understand the character of God. By the spirit of God who dwells in me, I understand the heart of God. By the spirit of God who dwells in me, I understand the gifts that is bestowed to me. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. God's spirit it empowers me to understand uh, the divine truths. Uh, God's spirit helps me to understand. Uh, God's spirit uh, empowers me to understand uh, divine truths. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of God who dwells in me helps me understand uh, divine truths. Uh, helps me understand uh, what I carry, who I am in Christ. Uh, God's spirit who dwells in me makes me understand therefore the more I know the truth the more I walk in freedom in every areas of my life in Jesus mighty name the more I walk in truth the more I know the truth the more I walk in freedom I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ I am guided by the Holy Spirit in all things that I do I declare I am guided by the Holy Spirit in all things things that I do. Ratu Prasitharebe Om Prabha. The Spirit of God reveals to me everything that is of God. Karamatik Robesianda. The Spirit of God who dwells in me reveals to me everything about God. Kuramatiya Basura. The Spirit of God who dwells in me reveals to me every gift that He has bestowed upon me. The Spirit of God who dwells in me reveals to me every gift that is bestowed upon Upon my life, the spirit of God who dwells in me reveals to me every gift that is bestowed to me by God. I am not bound by the worldly perspectives. I am not bound by the worldly patterns. I am not bound by the worldly ideas. I am led by the spirit of God in everything that I do. I am led by the spirit of God. I am in 
influenced by the Spirit of God. I am taught by the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit of God enlightens my understanding. The Holy Spirit of God who dwells in me enlightens my understanding. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. I am taught by the Spirit of God. I am taught by the Spirit of God. I am filled with the knowledge of God's will. I am filled with the knowledge of God's ways. I am filled with the knowledge of God's thoughts. The Holy Spirit of God who dwells in me teaches me everything. God's Spirit strengthens my inner being. God's Spirit strengthens my spirit. God's Spirit is made one with my spirit. God's Spirit strengthens my spirit. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. I live by the Spirit, not by the flesh. I live by the Spirit, not by the flesh. In the name of Jesus Christ, in every area of my life, I live by the Spirit and not by the flesh. I live by the Spirit and not by the flesh. My spirit that is a roton sabratiata, the dwelling place of the Spirit of God, takes over my soul and my body. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. My spirit is strengthened by the Spirit of God and they are in control of my soul and my body. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. I am led by the Spirit. I am led by the Spirit. The Spirit is leading. I am led by the Spirit. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. I am spiritually minded. I am not carnally minded. I am spiritually spiritually minded. I have the mind of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. I am spiritual minded. I walk in the wisdom that comes from the Lord. I am a recipient of God's spiritual blessings. I am a recipient of it in Jesus mighty name. I declare it. The spirit of God who dwells in me provides clarity and direction. I declare it in Jesus mighty name. The spirit of God who dwells in me provides clarity, provides direction. The spirit of God who dwells in me provides clarity, provides direction. I declare it in Jesus name. The spirit of God who dwells in me provides clarity, provides direction. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare it. I am led by the spirit of God. I am in Influenced by the Spirit of God. I am taught by the Spirit of God. I am strengthened by the Spirit of God. I am restored by the Spirit of God. All things are being made new in me by the Spirit of God. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. Everything that has hold everything that is old has passed away. Everything that is fleshly has passed away. Everything that is of old has passed away. I declare by the Spirit of God who dwells in me everything is made new. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ by the Spirit of God who dwells in me everything is made new. I declare it in Jesus mighty name by the Spirit of God who dwells in me everything is made new. I declare Declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. By the Spirit of God who dwells in me, I am taught, uh, I am made new. I understand the gifts bestowed on me by God. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. I declare it in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, amen. As the Spirit of God moves uh, upon every area of my life, uh, there is freedom. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Bless your name. Glorify your name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Gracious and loving Father, we praise and thank you for all your goodness and your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time in your presence. We thank you for empowering us. We thank you for strengthening us. We thank you for anointing us. We thank you for establishing us. We praise and thank you for empowering us this morning. We praise and thank you, Lord, for revealing everything about you by your Holy Spirit of God who dwells in us. We thank you for the Holy Spirit of God. We praise and thank you for all your goodness and your mercy. 
Lord, I speak your blessing upon all these people who are here under the influence of my voice. May they be blessed, I pray. May they increase. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that they will walk in the blessing of the Lord, in the favor of the Lord, in the anointing of the Lord, in the covering of the Holy Spirit today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak your blessing upon them.